And here we have another big fat truck. And when I'm talking about fat, I mean really fat. <laughs> <laughs> in today's video, I will be sharing my drag tune with you guys. Honest speaking now, I've never seen one of these or even the brand here in a country where I live. Can you believe it? This is like the only time I can play with a car that has this kind of brand or whatever the case is, but it is pretty slow. <laughs> so I don't care. No, I'm joking. This car is actually really fast uh, compared to the Hummer and the Cadillac. But nevertheless, let's quickly do a dyno run so I can show you guys just how much power it has. So this car I think has even less power than the H2 and also the torque is pretty darn high. I think this is... What car is this powerful? I think the Supra and the Skyline is really close to this. But anyway, so imagine this power for an SUV with this amount of weight. Never mind that, let's quickly go over here. So I want to tell you guys that I've categorized this video into four sections. Let me explain to you how it's going to work. First off, I'm going to show you guys my tune because that is why you're here. Secondly, I'm going to do a 400 meter run. Thirdly, I'm going to show you guys what I've upgraded in this car and how to do it. There's a kind of a bit of a twist to it. And then lastly, we're going to do a drag race against opponents. So let's start over here with the drivetrain. So here are the magic numbers. So I just want to tell you guys quickly that with this car, it is specifically tuned for the 400 meters as well as the Bayview race track. So if you're going to use this tune on a different track or even the same track, but you're going to nitros, let's say, in second gear or third gear, where I nitros in first gear, you'll actually notice that you will bomb out your engine. Your engine will explode because this amount of, uh, what do you call it, this amount of speed over here is the amount you need to complete the track by nitrosing in first gear. So if you're going to use this tune on a different track or a different kind of race, such as circuit sprints or a drag race that is even longer, what I want you to do is, is just come back here. You're going to take this knob towards the left, towards top speed. And as you guys can see, it's actually increasing. So just put it back where it was. I think this is where it was, 390. <laughs> so you can just make it a little bit like a little bit longer until you notice that your car isn't popping its engine anymore. Okay, so now that we don't have that in the way anymore, let's quickly go to suspension. So this car is super high. So as you guys can see over here, we drop the front and back suspension all the way to minimum. So for the front springs and the front shocks, I always like to keep them about the same. So as you guys can see here, it's kind of actually, it's, it's like bound and rebound, technically in that case. Okay, I don't want to talk too much about it. But anyway, springs helps to get your car back up, shocks help with how it goes down. But as you guys can see here, for a bit of a smoother ride in the front, we've got about halfway. And for the rear, we got about three quarters of the way too hard. So this is just going to allow not all the way to go to the back. Got to keep some of the weight in the front as well, because this car is all-wheel drive, if I'm not mistaken. So for the sway bar, we got front, front and rear to be at hard. And for the steering ratio, I did not touch it. Otherwise, for the drivetrain, as you guys can see here, we've already done it, but there's the numbers. Take your screenshot now, or do what you need to do. For the aerodynamics, we got it all the way up. Just the front one, I dropped it a little bit. Not, not that much. You can actually just take it all the way up if you want to, but it doesn't matter too much. For the tires and brakes, we have got it at strong, strong, and I did not touch the brakes. So for the ECU, if you have never tuned this or don't understand this, I will drop a card here in the top right corner for you. Make sure to look at it after this video or whatsoever where I briefly and uh, I give you guys a full tutorial on how to tune this and what everything means in that, uh, as, well, as well with the turbo. So just a short briefing, take all the power out in the first uh, 1000 and 2000 RPMs and the same over here. Otherwise, for the nitros, we got it as all the other cars at about 5 seconds. Okay, so let's quickly go and do a test drive. So, such as with all the cars, you can launch at different RPMs. But with this car, you have to launch it in green to get a better time. So, if you look at this needle, as you accelerate somewhere up here, it's going to turn green. Let me show you guys real quick. 
right over there at six and a half so that was actually a perfect shift so what you want to do is you want to actually catch it like with the acceleration part you don't want to bring your rpms up and then on this like descend of uh rpms you want to hit the green no you want to hit it as you accelerate and that way you're actually going to have a better pull off instead of like a bog pull off but if you do pull away in the blue or in the red which is over revved or under revved or something like that your car is going to either spin out or it's going to bog and that is not what you want and then once you hit it you want to make sure that you hit nitrous as soon as your rpms get stable and as it comes up you gotta hit your wait yeah hit your nitrous i don't know what i just said I think I said it, you gotta hit your RPMs, but that, that doesn't make any sense. So yeah, and then you're just gonna floor it, get perfect shifts all along the way, and you're gonna get a very good time. So let me quickly get a proper run for you. And we got a 9.46. We can actually improve it by making the fourth gear shorter. But as soon as we do that, if we go to the Bayview race and we actually go from fourth to fifth, the car's RPMs just bugs a little bit too much. So I had to smoothen it out. But we got a 9.46. Not the best. The other ones, I got a 9.2. So this car might actually be the slowest car in the game but anyway we are still gonna do it because i know this car is someone's favorite car out there okay so let's quickly head over to the performance section performance upgrades and i'm gonna show you guys what we have done so right over here we're gonna quickly go to engines so i just want to explain to you guys how it works whenever you install a part we all know stage 3 is the best to install but Every package have got different content. So there, I just said it, it changes a little bit. So if you look over here, here's all the contents. If you look at stage two, here's all the contents, but it's also installed. No, I am not cheating. If you look here at stage one, you also got the cold air intake system. And no, I'm still not cheating. What you want to do is whenever you upgrade a car, you want to install stage one, then stage two, then stage three. Because not all the contents are the same. Such as if there was something better than a colder intake system, it would have unsaid not installed like the rest. So to give you guys an example, here's a mild camshaft and cam gears. Here's a racing camshaft and cam gears, which is better than mild. So by installing stage three, it actually replaces the mild one, such as the headers. There's uh, replace headers and right over here is high flow headers. So if you guys look at stage two, there's stuff about exhaust, cat pack exhaust and larger diameter downpipe. It replaced the performance exhaust, but in stage three, there's nothing from exhaust system. So if you only install stage three, you would have still had the stock exhaust system on your car. You wouldn't have a high flow intake manifold as well as you wouldn't have a cold air intake system. So that is why I'm saying install all three. So for the engine, uh, sorry, the ECU, you also want to install all three. For the transmission, you also want to install all three. The springs, you also want to install all three. The nitros, you can just install the last one because th these are just different ways to inject nitros. For the tires, you want the stickier, so you want stage three only. For the brakes, you can install all three. And for the weight, you can install all three. So check this out. Literally all three of them are installed because all three contents are different. So if you just install three, uh, stage three, you would still have heavy windows, heavy seats, interior parts, and you would have still had the, the rear seats. Going over to turbo, you can only have one turbo in, and that's the stage three turbo kit you want installed. Okay, so now that we've got that done as well, let's quickly do a drag race. There we go, we hooked it in 5th gear, let's see what happens, it looks like the car behind us is actually getting in, it's a bit too far to slipstream, oh my gosh, I see smoke at the back but I think it's my car, come on, oh there we go, 27.36, that's horrible, but they were catching up, here's the Escalade, I think the Escalade is the fastest, it's the Cadillac, let's see the stats, 
top speed of 292, 293, 291, 288. So they were literally, well, only the guy that was second was actually catching up to us. But I could have maybe slipstream. Well, I'll give him a little bit of a slipstream. But anyway, you guys, there we go. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this tune. I do hope that if you're going to use it on a different track, that you guys will be able to tune the drivetrain just a little bit more to top speed or whatsoever. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, guys. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to drop a big like. If you would love to support the channel, especially if you're new, hit the logo at the bottom right corner to subscribe. If you want to see a similar video, hit the icon on the left. If you want to see one of my most recent videos, hit the icon on the right. And then I'll see all of you legends in my next video. But for now, peace out everyone.